everybody, and my name is South Jersey Gamer. Welcome to my first ever Let's Play. Let's Play Pokemon Red Random. Um, just as an introduction, I'm, I'm new to kind of the YouTube thing, and um, I started doing this mostly because I wanted to um, do, do a Let's Play just for fun. I'm not really in it to be good at it. I'm not really in it to, you know, you know make this like a very, um, I guess, committed thing, but I, I figured, you know what, I play games on the weekends, why not uh, record them and uh, throw them up on YouTube and see what people think of my commentary, because I'm always talking to myself when I'm playing games. Um, so I decided to start with Pokemon Red, and rather than um, uh, a playthrough, I, I will say this much, um, this was a game I loved as a kid. And I played through it a dozen times, so I figured rather than playing through the normal game, we'll have some fun and make it a random game. Um, so many people are probably familiar with Universal Pokemon Randomizer. It allows you to randomize basically any aspect of any generation Pokemon game. A lot of fun to use. Um, decided to start with the first generation, and I decided not to get too crazy with the randomizing. I'm not crazy about randomizing where the people are located in the game, randomizing Pokemon's mood, evolution, it's just too chaotic. So really what I decided to randomize, randomize is mostly just the Pokemon themselves. So you're going to see wild Pokemon are, are going to be completely randomized where they show up in the games, the starters are randomized, the Pokemon that each of the trainers in the games use is randomized. Um, the all, a few rules um, regarding this. I did not randomize any of Pokemon's base stats, move sets, anything like that. So even though there will be a, you know some glitchy stuff with Pokemon, like evolved Pokemon at level three or something like that, um, the Pokemon themselves will be mostly true to their move sets and stats. Um, I did not include legendaries in the wild Pokemon randomization. So. Legendary Pokemon, they will only appear, or as long as I've hit everything, right, they will should only appear um, in the um, legendary um, stages. So, for example, Zapdos typically appears in a power plant. A random legendary Pokemon, either the three legendary birds of Mewtwo, will show up in that spot. They will not show up in random wild locations, because that would just make the game way too easy. Um, and the only other uh, small caveat with this is that uh, the rival will keep his uh, same starter Pokemon throughout the game, even though his other Pokemon will change. Let's start! Hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon! Thank you! My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. Hello, Mr. Prof. It's Alakazam! I believe that is a random uh, thing. I, don't, I think it's usually Pikachu or something. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. No, you don't say. That's why we're playing it. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. People don't fight with their fists in this world. They apparently fight with, you know, creatures. You know, animal abuse. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. I really would like Mr. Prop Oak's job. First, what is your name? I'm going to call myself, um, wow. You get a whopping seven letters for your name. Good luck if you are Michelle um, or uh, Zachary and don't want to shorten your name because you're out of luck in the world of original Game Boy games. Or SJ Gamer. Right, so your name is SJ Gamer. You did, you're talking to me and you didn't even ask me my name first. You introduced the whole world of Pokemon. Oh boy, this guy. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Why in the world did this guy hate me when I was a baby? What the hell did I ever do to him? Um, what is his name again? You're his grandfather! You can't remember your grandson's name? Ugh, fine. Ugh, what do we... How about we name him... Derp. Because, you know, he seems like a bit of a derp. That's right! I remember now! His name is Derp! Now you remember. SJ Gamer! Your very own Pokemon Legends about to unfold. A world full of, or well, a world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon. You don't say! I'm so excited for these dreams and adventures. Oh, with Pokemon awaits! Let's go. I didn't finish the sentence. Here we are, in our bedroom. That's nice. SJ Gamer is playing this. 
or Super Nintendo. Okay, it's time to go. That was a nice quick 10 second game. Um, we'll fetch the potion out of here. There should be a potion here, right? Yep. And we have a potion, just in case. Um, I don't know what the starters are going to be when we get to Professor Oak's lab. So uh, we could need that potion to get through that first fight and win it. Right. All boys leave home someday, except mo in most worlds they don't leave home when they're 10. Apparently in Pokemon it's okay. It said so on TV. Great that you uh, think TV is the have-all, be-all of the world. Prof Oak, next door, is looking for you. Thank you, Mom. Let's go see him. He's not actually next door. This house is next door, and this is Derp's house. He's actually, you know, in the other part of this ridiculously small town. This is Professor Oak's lab. And he's not here because Mom lies to me, apparently. Yo! Gramps isn't around! Well, thank you, Derp. I appreciate it. This is... what is this? Those are Pokeballs! They contain Pokemon. This is like Pokemon 101 here. Um, which I kind of had to be. It was Generation 1, but... Come on, with the dialogue. Are you serious? I forgot. You have to go out here to generate, uh, Prof Oak. Hey, wait! Don't go out! Thanks, Grandpa. Or, he's not my Grandpa, is he? He's just Derps. It's unsafe! Wow, Pokemon live in tall grass! Another Pokemon 101 lesson. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Okay. And am I gonna find you? Yes, I am. Hello. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Why didn't you tell me that when I saw you like two minutes ago? Derp? Let me think. He's forgetting things again. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here. Me. <laughs> there are three Pokemon here. I can see that. <laughs> that's funny for some reason. They are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. You don't say. In my old age, I only have three left because you give them away like candy. <laughs> but you can have one. Choose. All right. Oh, come on. You have to freaking... Hey, Gramps! What about me? Be patient, Derp. You can have one, too. Well, that's nice of him. I love how I get the pick first. It would be... Hey, don't go away yet. I'm not going anywhere. I went to... Okay. He's just gonna constantly say that. Hey, don't go away yet. You can make him say the same thing over and over again. So I don't know what these Pokemon are gonna be. Um, we'll have to see. It's not going to be the typical Bulbasaur, Charmander, or Squirtle combo. It's going to be whatever the game decided. So we start with option number one. It's Krabby. That's not very inspiring whatsoever. Its pincers are not only powerful weapons. They are used for walk or balance when walking sideways. So do you want Krabby? Not yet. Option number two is Paris. No. I'm not even writing his bio. No. Option number three. It's Kingler! I love how they gave me two uh, Pokemon were picked from the same evolution tree here. Uh, the large pincer has 10,000 HP of crushing power. It has 10,000 HP of crushing power, why doesn't it just crush every single Pokemon it faces to submission? Oh, however its two size makes it unwieldy to use. Uh, okay, I should have just clicked the rest of the bio before I asked that rhetorical question. So, you want Kingler? Um... I don't think we have a choice. I've never used Kingler in a game. Ever. So, this will be new, but I mean, I'm not taking- it's silly to take Krabby, and I'm not taking Paris, so... This Pokemon is really energetic. You would probably say that if I picked a Snorlax. I think that's like an automatic thing. You automatically get an energetic quote-unquote Pokemon. You want to give a nickname? No. And he's probably gonna take... Yes! He takes Krabby. That's actually very funny. There's going to be a lot of crabs in this game. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to fight this guy now. Wait! Let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. I love how he initiates the fight, and he's the little idiot with a Krabby and I had a Kingler. <laughs> You're so dead. So much for needing that potion. I really was unsure of uh, how that starter thing was going to go. Yeah, <laughs> you get to start by Krabby. You couldn't literally just walk up to a beach and pick one of these things up. 
Um, we're just gonna Lace Grip him. It's awesome that we have Lace Grip right out of the gate. At least again, a normal attack. He's probably just has Bubble and Leer. I forget the fact that he's, he's not even bothering. He's in Bubble against me because... Oh, there he goes. Whopping one damage. Yep. It's not very effective. No kidding. Well, that was easy. Oh! Ouch! How about that? I thought four hits again. Ugh. That was a little more effort than I thought it would be. Well, we leveled up. That's good news. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon! You really did it. You actually picked the better Pokemon in Paris, and I had first choice, so you were automatically, like, in trouble right out of the get-go. Uh, I got 175 bucks. That's nice. Okay! I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up! Good luck with that. You gotta start from scratch, basically. Gramps! Uh, me and Gramps! Smell you later! What the hell does smell you later mean? Does that mean you stink, or, like... You'll, you'll smell us later so that you'll know we're coming? I don't get that. So now we gotta go into tall grass. This is where it's gonna get fun, because I don't know what wild Pokemon are in here. Could be a Dragonite. Could be a, a Gyarados. Who the heck knows? We will see. Um, we're heading to Viridian. But we have to make a pit stop, because I believe this guy's gonna give us something. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's a convenient shop, so please visit us in Viridian City. Thank you. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. Another potion. Woo. Can't buy these anywhere. This the music in this game Alright, come on guy. Do not block my way, thank you. Music in this game is brilliant. I love how I got through the whole first route and didn't hit a single wild Pokemon. What a wonderful uh, that's so wonderful. I guess we'll heal all uh, Kingler's one health while we're here. This is a Pokemon Center. If for some reason you've never heard of Pokemon before, this is how you heal your Pokemon. I don't think there's any sense in me explaining it, but um, just in case for some reason you're uh, using these videos to, to get introduced to the series uh, 20 plus years after it came out. Uh, so now we have to go in here, if I remember correctly. Hey! You came from Palatown? How the hell do you know that? I just walked into your store. Couldn't I have just been some Viridian resident, or do you know everyone that walked around in this game? Oh well. Um, let's see. You know Prof Oak, right? His order came in. Will you take it to him? Um, I guess I don't have a choice, right? Yeah, they just give me the parcel anyway. What if I was, like, a criminal? I could just take his, uh, whatever's in this thing and, like, steal it. Seri like, seriously. Um, okay, I'm just a random guy. Alright, so now we gotta go all the way back. Still don't have anything like protocol balls or anything to catch anything with because it stinks, but maybe we'll get into a fight, like now. <laughs> um, ooh, now this, 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 this is good news. A Raichu would be very useful, I think, on this team, and having a lightning Pokemon early on would probably be a good compliment to Krabby. Or, I'm sorry, I have King on not Krabby. Unfortunately, we're not gonna fight it now because this thing could probably hurt Kingler. And we don't have anything to catch it with, but we will be back. That was a nice, uh, good start to the random wild Pokemon, uh, uh, tale, I guess. And we're back in Palo already. Huh. Very active, uh, this game's been so active so far. Right, so we're gonna see this guy who is still just standing there. Oh! How is my, how is my old Pokemon that I have uh, been missing for the last five minutes? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented. As a Pokemon trainer, I have done absolutely nothing except fight your grandson once. That's it. What? You have something for me? What a surprise. I delivered his parcel. What is it? Ah! This is the custom Pokeball I ordered. I love how he orders custom Pokeballs, and yet there is no such thing as a custom Pokeball in this game. At least to my knowledge, which I played this game a dozen times, so... Who knows? Thank you! Ah, uh, this guy's back. Gramps! What did you call me for? Um, excuse me, Mr. Oak. You called him, but you didn't call me. I had to show up all over again. Um, to just find out why we're here. Alright! I have a quest of you two. Why didn't you call me? 
I want to ask you that first. On the desk there is my invention. Pokedex. Not the Pokedex. Just Pokedex, because he probably copyrighted the name. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. No kidding. So, uh, question real fast. How did I get data on the first three Pokemon that were on the table without the Pokedex? Did I just have psychic powers and an psychic encyclopedia? Or did you read from your Pokedex for me without talking? Um, this is a high-tech encyclopedia. High-tech from the 90s, absolutely. Oh, take this. Take these with you. I got a Pokedex. Oh, I never thought I was going to get one of these. To make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. Da, da, da. That was my dream. But I am too old. <laughs> and you're losing your mind. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving. Oh, what a command. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. So if this was so important to the history of Pokemon research, why didn't you get, like, real trainers, like accomplished trainers, or gym leaders, or, like, somebody with actual Pokemon already that could fill this thing out in, like, two seconds to do it? I'm sure there's other people running around trading Pokemon. You've obviously given away your other Pokemon. So why the heck are you depending on us to do this? Let me, I'm just a freaking stranger. I get your grandson, but, like, I'm just a guy. All right, Gramps, leave it all on me. I hate to say it, but I don't need you. Oh, thanks. What a jerk. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with anything. I'll tell her not to lend you one. Ha 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 ha. Or, or I should say, ha 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 ha. Like, seriously, this guy's so evil. He's like, I'm gonna tell my sister not to lend you a town map. Nah, 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 nah. Like, what the? Who the hell cares? I could probably get through this game without it. I actually wonder, I think you can go through the game without even getting this thing, but I might be mistaken. In any case, we'll just get it. Oh, here's Derp's sister. Derp bet. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Yeah, he asked me to get, catch all the Pokemon in the world. That's basically my errand. It's not, you know, pick up your groceries or anything. It's to, yeah, catch every single Pokemon. Here, this will help. No, way you know, she gave me a town map. No. At least she's not a jerk like Derp. Derp that is not a jerk like Derp. Alright, so now we gotta get all the way back to Viridian. Oh my god. And we are more or less... Oh, let's see what we run into now. Um, oh, the lovely Sea King. Uh, nice Pokemon, but I am not gonna use that for my team. That's not gonna add anything. So we, we can fight it though. Crush it with Vice Grip. Oh, so scary to deal with. Um, we gotta get all the way back to Viridian just to get Pokeball so we can actually start this game rather than just running around running errands for, you know, Prof Oak and, you know, whoever else is, you know, wants us to run errands. We are not running into many brown Pokemon already. Uh, early on, I should say. We are back! I don't think... There's no point in Hagel Kingler anyway. I have two potions that I'm probably never going to use. Alrighty. Hi there, may I help you? I'm going to get a couple of antidotes just because I don't trust poison. And right now, um, actually, I was going to say those potions are worthless. You can actually buy potions, apparently, in this store. What a worthless store. Um, we're going to buy a bunch of Pokeballs. Um, the thing with the wild randomizer is that when you get some run into things like starters or a you know big name Pokemon like Gyarados and Alakazam or something that you wouldn't ordinarily find in the wild, they have very low catch rates. It is very difficult to catch them, especially with um, low end uh, Pokeballs. Uh, we won't be getting Ultra Balls for a while, presumably. We could catch them as a random item, but we kind of we can't count on getting them. So it's going to be very difficult to catch some of these things. But um. First mission is going to be to find a Raichu. Um, oh, Squirtle, how about that? This would be one of those very hard to catch things. I am not going to try and catching it now. One, because it would take a while. Two, because we're not going to use Squirtle on our team. I mean, we could, in theory, use it. I mean, it probably may be better than Kingler in the long run, but I really don't want to bother with 
having to work Squirtle up to where Kingler's at now, and then have to deal with, you know, having Squirtle evolve over time. Look, Kingler's already at level 7. I mean, it, we're just going to stick with Kingler as our water Pokemon in this game. I, for the time being, we could always... Whoa, Tauros! That's only level 2. Eh, no. Uh, we could use it. I never... Not again, I'd never use a Tauros in this game. From what I know, it's a very good, a good attack Pokemon, but I don't... Level 2. Ugh, I don't want to work something up from level 2. You know, everything in here is going to be low-leveled anyway. Uh, Raichu, where are you? A starry, starry you. Um, once again, you know, that's nice, but we're going to stick with Kingler. Some people are probably shouting at me, what the heck are you doing going with Kingler over... Staryu, who could evolve, eventually evolve into Starmie. The problem is, I could easily catch a Starmie later. Staryu, you need a stone, which you can't get until later in the game, so... to evolve, so... Uh, no thank you. We're just gonna stick with Kingler as far as the water Pokemon are concerned. Venomit. He will not be part of my team. Um, no interest in catching one of these things. They're good to, to uh, get experience against, though. That's worthwhile. Ah! Oh, come on! Really? Making my life difficult. I think it's annoying. <sighs> so, we're gonna keep looking for this Raichu here. Another squirrel. Ugh, come on. I would like to get Kingler um, up to 9, um, as well as uh, hopefully as Raichu as well. I don't think we're going to have anything else that interests me. Kingler's already up to level 8. He's flying through the levels. I think he levels up very quickly. It's one of those Pokemon that doesn't need a ton of experience to level up. Um, or it's because he's evolved. It's cool. Um, not sure which reason. Maybe a combination of both. But um, I would like to get Kingler at least up to 9, if not higher, um, as well as Raichu. I don't think I'm going to be catching anything else for my team on this route, simply because um, nothing's really sticking out to me. It's really heavy, water heavy. Um, ugh, come on, cut me a break, game. Can I just find Raichu, Raichu already? Christ. Critical hit. That's nice. Kingler will be up to level 15 at this rate. I mean, come on. Uh, I'm not going away until I uh, catch this Raichu. I'm not going anywhere. Kingler is just making mincemeat of everybody with his vice script. I can't even use Bubble against most of these Pokemon because it won't be effective. There we go. Now we have to be careful here because... Raichu's attacks probably are Thundershock and Thunder Wave he's probably packing, so he probably can do some decent damage here. We have to be careful. We can't use Vice Grip because it's going to kill him. It's too powerful of a move. We don't have to use Bubble. There we go. That's okay. Well, thank God he used Bubble. He used Growl there. Saves me a turn. Um, we just have to be careful. May, this is where we may have to use those potions because I don't really care if I'm paralyzed. I'm trying to catch you, not fight you. Um, well, let's just go ahead. Come on. Oh, that didn't work. I want to throw three. So, you have to be careful. If King Lord dies, we're in deep trouble. Uh, we can do another one. Thundershock really doesn't do a whole lot, apparently. Oh, come on. Um, let's see. We can... Do one more? We'll do one more. Before using a potion. Oh crap, don't kill me. Uh, no critical hit, no critical hit, no critical hit. Okay, that's okay. Uh, now we have to use a potion. Whoop! Alright. Why would you use Thunder Wave? I'm already paranoid. Oh my god, the AI is so dumb sometimes. Oh, no, we're not doing that. Um, Pokeball. Come on. Get in there. Come on, we better not run out of freaking Pokeballs just trying to catch this thing. 
really didn't think it was going to be. I definitely um, did a random game in the past and caught Raichu with Pokeballs without this much trouble. Oh, come on. I don't have anything to inflict status on it. Come on, get in there. Oh, for freaking hell, man. I can't attack him again because it's not going to... He keeps using Thunder Wave for no apparent reason. Come on. We may have to come back. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh! Ugh. Now we gotta use our last potion. Ugh! Stupid. Wow! Growling! Oh, well, so scary. Um. Come on! Come on! This is not working out well. Well, if we run out of uh, Pokeballs, we'll just have to kill them. Come back. The problem is, I don't have a lot of money. Can we... Let's just try another bubble. No. Because uh, I'm paralyzed. Of course he's faster than me. Ooh, critical. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Then we kill him. We got, we got a critical hit. That was a waste. A huge waste. Um, we're gonna go heal and spend the rest of our money on Pokeballs. Because wow, that was really a waste. Of... And that's what makes this really difficult. Um, we are catching that thing. I don't care. Well, if I run out of pokeballs, I'm just gonna have to move on with just Kingler. Because or running out of money to buy pokeballs, I'm just gonna have to move on. Or maybe I can sell those antidotes. I mean, I'm not gonna get much for them. Yeah, I want more pokeballs. Alright, so we're down to our last 75 bucks, but I mean, what else are we gonna... Um... Yeah. Hopefully we can just catch this thing. Um, I'm probably gonna keep these episodes, I guess, to a half hour or so. Um, which means we may have to stop soon. See, Kingler. Well, we'll keep uh, leveling up Kingler since he may be our only uh, hope. In the near, in the uh, short term. Oh boy, see if he can scare me with that peck. One hell of one uh, damage. Um, Kingler's level. Kingler's leveling up very quickly, and he's got a pretty strong uh, physical attack, which is going to make Vice Grip very valuable early in this game. Pretty powerful attack for early in the game. Tentacruel again? Uh, we're, we're probably going to take 50 minutes trying to find this name Raichu over again. Um, we basically can only use two bubbles to... And this is going to be a one hit. Um, two bubbles to damage Raichu without killing him. Especially the leveling up. There he is. Okay. Let's try this again. So we have, I believe, five Pokeballs. We have five shots here to get this guy. Oh. We're out of potions, by the way. That's the other issue. And we're paralyzed. Wonderful. And he's just <laughs> thunder Um. Get in there. Please. Please. What if he kills me? Is that, like, game over? We're gonna have to run, I guess. <gasps> no way! We got him! Hey! <laughs> That's a great way to end this episode off. Oh, thank god. That was way more trouble than it was worth. Its long tail serves as a ground to protect itself from its own high voltage power. That would be incredible if you were, that was, like, in real life. Like, if you were a Raichu and you had to keep your tail on the ground all the time, or otherwise you electrocute yourself. That's crazy. Well, so we're going to go back and heal, and we're going to end the episode off there. I may spend time leveling Raichu up off-camera just to um, get him leveled up so we can move on with the game on the next episode. Um, I'm not going to catch anything for my team or catch anything in general, because... Quite frankly, we don't have any Pokeballs left anyway. I'm probably just going to level them up. I'm not going to go anywhere new either. Um, there's a lot of water Pokemon Raichu can make mincemeat of over on Route 1. So uh, it will be pretty easy to, to get him leveled up, I think, pretty quickly. Um, that is it. Thank you for joining me for the first episode. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.